October 6, 2022, Daily Bread, Passage Isaiah, Chapter 43, Verse 1 through Verse 28, Key Verse 1, Title, Do Not Fear, For I Have Redeemed You. But now, this is what the Lord says, He who created you, Jacob, He who formed you, Israel, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you, I have summoned you by name, You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt for your ransom, Cush and Seba in your stead. Since you are precious and honored in my sight, and because I love you, I will give people in exchange for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bring your children from the east and gather you from the west. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not hold them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Lead out those who have eyes but are blind, who have ears but are deaf. All the nations gather together and the peoples assemble. Which of their gods foretold this and proclaimed to us the former things? Let them bring in their witnesses to prove they were right, so that others may hear and say, It is true. You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, so that you may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me no God was formed, nor will there be one after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and apart from me there is no Savior. I have revealed and saved and proclaimed, I and not some foreign God among you. You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, that I am God. Yes, and from ancient days I am he. No one can deliver out of my hand. When I act, who can reverse it? This is what the Lord says, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake, I will send to Babylon and bring down as fugitives all the Babylonians and the ships in which they took pride. I am the Lord, your Holy One, Israel's Creator, your King. This is what the Lord says, He who made a way through the sea, a path through the mighty waters, and who drew out the chariots and horses, the army and reinforcements together, and they lay there, never to rise again, extinguished, snuffed out like a wick. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness, and streams in the wasteland. The wild animals honor me, the jackals and the owls, because I provide water in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland to give drink to my people, my chosen, the people I have formed for myself, that they may proclaim my praise. Yet you have not called on me, Jacob. You have not wearied yourselves for me, Israel. You have not brought me sheep for burnt offerings, nor honored me with your sacrifices. I have not burdened you with grain offerings, nor wearied you with demands for incense. You have not bought any fragrant calamus for me, or lavished on me the fat of your sacrifices. But you have burdened me with your sins, and wearied me with your offenses. I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake, and remembers your sins no more. Review the past for me. Let us argue the matter together. State the case for your innocence. Your first father sinned. Those I sent to teach you rebelled against me. So I disgraced the dignitaries of your temple. I consigned Jacob to destruction and Israel to scorn. Daily Bread Message God's judgment would fall on Israel like flames due to her sins, and she would enter Babylonian captivity. But her Creator and Redeemer says, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. You are mine. He promises to be with them and assures them that His judgment will not wipe them out. Instead, it will refine them through trials, for the Holy One of Israel, their Savior, loves His people, chosen for His glory and praise, and in the future He will bring them back from captivity. This will bear witness to God and testify that he alone is the sovereign Lord, the only Savior who fulfills what he promised. Just as he delivered Israel by parting the Red Sea in Exodus, he would do a new thing to bring the exiles back out of Babylon. God punished his covenant people due to their corrupt worship and many offenses. Still, he will blot out their transgressions for his own sake and redeem them from their sins. We belong to God, for he created us for his own glory, and he redeemed us by the blood of Jesus. We are beloved, precious, and honored in his sight. God disciplines his children to purify and restore them so that they may serve him in holiness and righteousness without fear.
Prayer Lord, thank you for redeeming me by Jesus' blood and for being with me despite my sins. Purify me in your love so that I may live a life that pleases you and proclaims your praise to the world. One word, redeemed by the blood of Jesus.